D.C. Council is considering how to handle fare evasion, something that was decriminalized by the council in 2018. The problem now is police can't write citations of people who are breaking the law and who don't comply would ask for identification. David Kaplan was at a public safety hearing on the bill today. So let's talk about this bill, David. What would it change? Yeah, Jim, to your point, it would essentially empower uh, Metro Transit Police to be able to get identification from people who might jump these types of fare gates and not comply originally with requests to stop. Metro Police Chief Michael Anzalo says this is about following the laws on the books. And I think this law strikes the right balance. You know, it's a civil infraction at first. If you cooperate with the police officer in the citation process, then you get a $50 fine and you go on your way. If you don't cooperate, then you're subject to arrest, then we'll have to identify who you are. We'll run you for warrants, check to see if you're on a terrorist watch list, and then take appropriate action that way. So those concerned about this proposed legislation worry about negative harmful interactions between police and adults who skip out over a less than $6 fare. This concern, especially in light of the success that WMATA's touted of the new fare gates that they say have reduced fare evasions by 70% in the places that they are installed. Katerina Semyonova handles all things policy for the D.C. Public Defender's Office. She testified today that she's concerned about detentions as a result of a civil infraction like this. She says... She thinks the fair gates, the new ones are working, and then she's worried about additional enforcement beyond them. Balancing the harms that are caused by the interaction between police and residents over this fair and the ability to so essentially solve the problem through infrastructure, that that's where the council should be leaning and be giving time to resolve um, the question of fare evasion through this, these physical um, barriers that are that are much that that are more effective than prior criminalization of fare evasion. D.C. Councilwoman Brooke Pinto chaired this hearing today. She indicated in an interview with us afterwards that she will be thinking more critically about this question of whether or not or how to properly give police the power to write these citations. So certainly this is part of the legislative process. It is definitely active and ongoing. You will hear from her in our next hour. Also, some more depth and context coming up at 6. I actually asked around to a couple of the largest transit agencies across the country of the extent of their fare evasion problem. We want to bring you that context. We'll have some facts and figures for you coming up in our next hour. Jim, Marina.